Happy Monday. (laughs) In conversation with a close friend the other day who was horrifically abused in her childhood, after getting off the phone with her, I'm really just holding space for her and letting her have a place where, you know, as I speak to women and men who are survivors of abuse, they don't need tears alongside their own. They need a strong place to land. And I've said this before. And so the more that you can uphold a strong place for them to soften, that's what I've been told, the kind of support that... um, that the men and women I've, I've spoken to are really looking for. And then when you hang, when I hung up the phone, there's this strong sense of what a powerful woman. And I think I have trauma. Like what the fuck? The fact that you spend one day feeling bad, working through what you say is shit, you know, like, so I, I absolutely minimize the importance of my own trauma in my own life. It's hard not to compare, right? In a lot of different areas of our life, we compare success, we compare youth and beauty in this ridiculous culture. Um, We compare trauma. And what I'm gonna offer you today is your trauma is legitimate. There's trauma that you're carrying that isn't even yours. We all carry a little bit of generational trauma. So if you've been around and around a certain um, wound that keeps coming up for you and you just can't identify it, look further back than than this particular go-round of your existence. It could be something that your parents, 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 and their parents have passed along that they, your parents were not conscious that they gave to you, but that you have taken up the bow of. So I just want to offer and honor each individual has trauma. It shows up in very different ways. Some is extremely dramatic and the narrative is just absolutely horrific. Some is a little more subtle. They're both equally devastating. And if you never look at the subtle trauma, you will never heal. Do not undercut your own experiences in the face of someone else's. There is enough space here for all the hurt and the wounds. And if you're doing the work to heal from wherever you're starting from, you're already heroic. It's not an easy task. And few really take it on. So if you're looking to really change your life, and invite all of your being into existence in full flower. By necessity, that involves unlocking what you don't want to see. And very often that's trauma. And don't get stuck in that bullshit story that yours doesn't matter. It absolutely does. And so that is your invitation today to honor the seriousness of the work that you have undertaken. I honor it. And I applaud it. It's courageous. It, whatever the facts, details, narrative, it doesn't matter. It is courageous. And if you show up every day, you're already so much further along than most that live their lives in denial and suppression. And I thank you for showing up. And I will see you tomorrow.